Hey guys, it's Ryan back here again. And today I'm reviewing another figure from NECA's Pacific Rim line, Kaiju Scunner. He is a deluxe figure, and the retail price is $24.99. On the back of the packaging, besides the Pacific Rim logo, is a blown up picture of Scunner, as well as a complete list of all the deluxe Kaiju figures that they've released so far, including the upcoming concept figure, Axe Head. Just like the previously released Trespasser and Knifehead figures, Scunner is using the same base body, with the addition of some new parts, such as his hands, his tail, the armor plating, the shell on his back, and even the head sculpt too. You'll notice that the shell on Scunner is similar to that of Knifehead's, but there was a few distinct differences, so they had to start from scratch. That also applies to his tail as well. Even though it's mainly the same, the tip has a few barbs on it, so they had to start from scratch with that one as well. As I've mentioned before, Scunner's head sculpt is completely new, and it is massive, with two large bowl-like tusks wrapping around on both sides. He also has four yellow eyes, two on both sides like a hammerhead shark, and a large jaw with exposed white yellowish teeth. Inside the indents of his tusks, as well as around the opening of his mouth, is ocean green toxic lines, which also have a little bit of white mixed into them too, that helps outline them and stand out. And the jaw can open, exposing a purple tongue inside. On top of the head, the toxic lines continue following the shape of the tusks. And they continue throughout the entire figure, including on the chest, the shoulders, his arms and legs, and down the back as well. You have might have noticed by now that the extra armor on his chest and shoulders seems to float on top of the figure. Well that's actually because it's a separate piece which is made out of flexible plastic rather than being sculpted detail. It works for both us and NECA because we were able to get a new kaiju figure quickly, which is accurate, and NECA was able to save money on new tooling. Right below all that is a pair of articulated pilot arms, which have three fingered hands that have black glossy claws. The forearms on the main arms have holes in them, which is a feature unique to these particular kaijus. And the new main hands, which are large for swimming, have three black talons each. The thighs have rows of sculpted scales, and his feet, just like both pairs of hands, have three toes with even more black claws. Up close you can see how detail-oriented NECA is, giving the entire surface of the skin a textured scale surface. And there's also a faint green and brown wash adding dirt and grime to the figure. Like the other kaiju figures, the tail is molded in a flexible plastic, allowing you to adjust it how you wish. And his tip is barbed, looking like it can do some serious damage to a Jaeger. The shell protects majority of his back, and it's painted in a odd brown color, which actually suits him well in my opinion. And mounted on the top of it is two large horns, and matching color. And the articulation for Scunner includes a ball jointed head, a hinged jaw, ball hinged shoulders, ball hinged elbows, ball jointed wrists, ball hinged secondary shoulders, ball jointed secondary wrists, a ball jointed waist, ball jointed hips, ball hinged knees, and ball jointed ankles. Overall, for about $25, NECA keeps blowing us out of the water again and again with these Pacific Rim figures. Scunner is easily their most ambitious and largest 7 inch kaiju so far. And in my opinion, it's also the best, of course that is until the next one is released. The sheer amount of detail and articulation is just begging you to pick this one up. And if you're a Pacific Rim fan, you already know what I have to say. Get out there and get one as soon as you can. I hope you all enjoyed this review and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. 
subscribe for hundreds of collectible reviews, including Halo and Star Wars, and follow me on Facebook and Twitter for up-to-date channel news.